We do have a pretty decent amount of fog. Now there is a dense fog advisory in effect right now and the majority of the fog that starts to collect at the surface is as we approach sunrise. So just before the sun comes up, a lot of this fog is going to get a lot more dense, but we do find it mainly around areas like Talladega, Anniston, Oxford, Pell City, up into Fort Payne, Center, Cherokee, and the Gadsden too. Visibility about three miles or less, and I think it's going to be a lot worse up that I-59 corridor. So any travelers that have to make it to I-59, and if you are on the outskirts right around Etowah County, just be very cautious. That fog is just going to get more and more dense as we approach sunrise. This is our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar. This real time scan is the only one of its kind here in central Alabama, but it also allows us to pinpoint anything that is really those fine particulates in the atmosphere. I'm highlighting some of this moisture here because this will be where we'll see some of that fog collecting right in between Pelham and Hoover. We're talking about Oak Mountain, Double Oak Mountain headed towards Chelsea and uh, Lake Purdy as well. Those bodies of water uh, seem to be gathering the majority of the fog in the past couple of mornings. So we have a little area of disturbed weather right now in northern Arkansas and portions of southern Iowa moving or towards the Tennessee Valley, but we still have a lot of dry air in place right now in central Alabama. So our rain chances, they look a lot higher as we head towards Monday, but I do think most of that is going to be likely coming in from the northwest and then thinning out a lot when it approaches. And so this evening cloud cover will start to come up from the south so our temperatures on sunday morning will not be quite as cool all we're going to see is increased cloud cover we're not talking about those rain chances not quite yet but as we approach monday we're going to warm up and then eventually we're going to see those rain chances moving back into the forecast by monday afternoon so forecast high temperature close to 80 on monday we're going to really warm things up and then later in the day we expect to see a round of showers and storms. We get a break Tuesday and then another wave. So it's almost like every other day next week we're going to have a chance for rain and then we really cool down. Look at that next Friday. John, high temperature 55. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Stay right here. I'll talk about it all morning. You're watching WB.